그존 나이스비치가 쓴 메가트렌드 2010이라는 책에서 보면은 인간의 영성혁명에 대해서 얘기를 했었는데요. 지금 이제 벌써 10년 이상이 지나서 2010년이 됐는데 지금 이제 해외에서 그존 나이스비치가 말한 영성혁명이 혹시 어느 정도로 진행되고 있는지 혹시 아시는 바가 있으면 좀 조언 좀 부탁드리겠습니다. Uh, there's an encyclopedia of religion that came out that has 9,800 different religions listed in it, uh, of which we, um, there, there's just a few of the dominant ones that uh, uh, most of us hear about. Now, um, the, the idea of, of making predictions is not necessarily about how accurate you are with the predictions. It's about how much you... Uh, cause people to think about that and come to their own conclusions. So if I make a prediction about uh, 2030 or 2050, um, the, the value isn't, because every time we predict something that's really accurate, and we, by the time we get there, it just feels different. And so uh, there's lots of contextual things that start to change at the same time. So making predictions about the future is, is intended to help force everybody to think more about that. And that, that changes kind of our consciousness. Um, now, as far as uh, what, what John Nesbitt was talking about in Megatrends, then I, I'm not um, familiar with that section right at the moment. Uh, it's been a long time since I read, read his last, that book. But, uh, um, but th there is, in my mind, a great value in, in forcing people to think about things that they normally wouldn't. Uh, the, from the beginning, you introduced uh, 10 unanswered and unsolved questions. And I just wonder, do you find anyone uh, the solution about that question by yourself? Oh, um, <clears throat> about 10 uh, unanswered questions. It's like uh, just why is the time exist? Uh, that is uh, just uh, I also wonder about that. Um, yeah, the, the reason I, I wrote that column is because I was having lots of anxiety over these things, and I thought, well, I, I actually need to post these somewhere <clears throat> and see what kind of a response I get from the rest of the world. And I was kind of amazed at how many people spent enormous amounts of time trying to answer all of those 10 questions. Um, but in, in my mind, uh, nobody completely answered them. And they, were, they, they still, in my mind, remain unanswered. And, uh, and, and in so many ways, I don't think there's answers for them. Um, but it helps, uh, it helps me at least frame some of my thinking about the challenges ahead. We have lots of people who, um, uh, we, we, we get the impression growing up that, uh, that the scientists out there have answers to everything. And, and actually, what we figured out is such a small piece of the whole, the whole big picture. Um, and this was an attempt to actually show us how, how little we know in the overall scheme of things. <laughs>